Hey, the best squad. It's your girl, Ebony, the best. Guys, I really wanted to do a live tonight, but my laptop is acting up. And then when I try to log into the Apple Mac, it's just taking forever. So I'm going to do it this way. So I wanted to do a live tonight because I am really, 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 really upset, right, with the preview that own put out with regards to this episode which i think it's season finale episode with kiki now i'm gonna try to go through it because again my system is acting so i'm just gonna let you guys listen and then i'm gonna talk about it because right now right now me mud me mud um and i'm gonna say this when i when i interviewed kiki and we were so excited for her to come on the show, for her to, you know, talk about her um, addiction that she had, how it's progressing, how she's been doing. And for these low life, dirty people to try to change the narrative now, to make it all about Kiki, her addiction, I mean, how does that coincide with someone that looks like Kiki, right? Because we don't know if it's her allegedly, right? How does that coincide with her journey of her addiction, her coping after and getting her life back together, Finally, you know, getting her dream of being on TV and to be able to share her story, to tell people, talk about her book, talk about her family and what y'all did, what y'all did, Carla King, the producer of Love and Marriage Huntsville own is try to make it look like, and my God, y'all is some dirty people. Y'all make this entire thing like, take it off, Mel. Let's not talk about the Scots and let's turn this whole thing. Let's chop up what we want people to see and let Kiki be the next person we are talking about. So guys, I'm going to let you hear um, when trifling Tiffany and girl, I don't even want to interview you so you can shove that. Um, When she brought the whole situation to Mel, I don't know if she thinking that Mel was going to be on her side or because Mel and Kiki is friends, she want to hear what Mel had to say. I'm glad Mel said, you know what? Innocent until proven guilty. So let me let you hear. The Huntsville police are on the lookout for this woman. I haven't seen Kiki since, since the news, though. It's interesting what the video catches. She started into her purse. Now, <laughs> you know, Mel was right. Maurice, what do you bring to this show? Can you please tell us what is your contribution beside being a jerk on show? You know, I don't even know how y'all, some of y'all get the JJ. How? Because if I look at you and I see you, you wouldn't be getting none. Okay. I, you wouldn't even, you, you know what? How is it that you're talking to your wife and your only comment was, at least the camera get a good handle. Um, <laughs> at least the camera got ca captured, captured, captured it. <laughs> you can't make this up. You cannot. What the video catches. She started putting items into her purse. She's on I hope she's not back on TV. So Maurice ain't that kind of attorney. How did he get all the way to TV to say call call the police? And the little smirk that Tiffany has on her face, y'all, when she said, "How did it get so far that it it got to stuttering Stanley? Call the police." Um, because you already know how everything, everything came about. 
You were the one who leaked it to the blogs. Wasn't you the one that did that? Tiffany dear? Huh? Wasn't you the one? As if you're so perfect? As if you're so perfect. I haven't seen Kiki since, since the news, though. It's interesting what the video catches. She started putting items into her purse. She's done with something? I hope she's not back on videos. Marie says they got Now, let me ask you guys a question. I am big on family, and I think I've posted my family. I have, I have a, a huge family. A huge family, okay? My parents, it's nine brothers and sisters of them so you know sibling six one 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 sister having six one you know uncles but multiple so we big and you know one thing we will never do if one of our family member was going through something we would not rat them out we would not automatically assume that someone resembling kiki allegedly was doing something and my cousin turned and says, on national TV, I hope she's not back on it again. Really, Letitia? As if your house is so clean. And it's not, because we've seen it. But just speaking in general, as if your life is so clean. Girl, are you, oh my God. Are you forgetting that there's allegedly Things about you stealing, allegedly, you and your mama? Or, or do we forget about your past because your life is so clean? Huh? How dare you, instead of defending your cousin, you're on national TV saying, well, I hope, I hope she's not back to using. And you know what? Y'all didn't give Kiki any credit. Y'all didn't give Kiki any credit of working on herself, right? Getting herself back on track, clean. Doing her, what do you call it? So, so provarty, huh? But you're quick to say she's on drugs. What proof of that do you have, Marcel? What proof of Kiki being on drugs, allegedly, do you have? From when I interviewed Kiki, Kiki said her addiction, it was like what? She's been like clean for the last, the, the last uh, four years from pills. And you're making it seems like she's dealing with it now. Kiki, from my interview, has been in voluntary treatment where she's tested daily or randomly. Y'all check out my interview with Kiki. Huh? Kiki wanted people to know this. She wasn't afraid. She wasn't like hiding anything about her life when we did the interview. And you know what really upset me about Letitia and Marceau? Y'all coming around here acting as if y'all life is brand new. Like there is nothing, nothing going on in your life. You don't have no mess. Your, your track record is so clean that y'all had the nerve to do that to Kiki. And I'm going to fault producer too because I'm sure they chopped stuff up. But as a family... As a family, I wouldn't do her like that. If that was my cousin, that people even saying that we look so much alike, huh? What proof do, does any one of you have that Kiki did anything at Home Depot? What proof? Huh? You know what you guys just did? You know what you what to me in my opinion it's 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 just disgusting 
it's awful that you are making her pass their reality. Huh? Why? Why? So nobody will talk about y'all? So nobody will bring up y'all's past? Because allegedly, <laughs> let's be clear, allegedly y'all out here robbing people. Some little young entrepreneur, y'all requesting videos and um, conversation to be sent to you all allegedly. That's what's being said on these YouTube streets. So why don't you mind y'all's own business? And Kiki, if I was you, honey, if I was you, I would get every last one of them. These, your two family member who claim them have $17 million and don't even have a pot properly to piss out her. I hope you get them real good. Marcel, you're no good. And I'm glad. I'm glad that Courtney's going to tackle you because it seems as if you have period worse than us females. It seems as if you bleeding more than us because you're always in females business. What y'all did, what if Kiki was supposed to have a relapse? And mind you, shoplifting and taking pills are two different things. Let's be clear. When you steal, you're stealing for whatever little item you need. Taking our popping pills is two different things, you little idiot on a dummy. So, oh, how is it? That wanna put them two together and make it look like, make it look like Kiki is back on pills and a steal at the same time. On is a wicked set of people. Remember, let me say it in English. Remember, I said that y'all some wicked set of people. Eh? You think I would ever do my family like the way y'all just did, Kiki? Huh? Passing it around, telling everybody, showing. Huh? On the dirty. Y'all dirty. And I don't care if it's reality TV or not. What Kiki went through was real. Her keeping it together is real. Her life is real. I don't like when people do things like this for their own for for for, for their own gratitude. Mm? I don't like stuff like that. I don't. And it really bothers me. I really wanted to come live tonight and really talk about this whole situation. It don't matter what you and your family going through. It don't matter. All right? We understand Wanda said some dirty things about her her niece. And talking about, oh, she being dead or whatever. God forbid. You don't talk about family like that. That's not love. And then you come around talking about God. What God? Definitely not mine. Definitely not. Anyway, guys. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be yelling at y'all. But this, this whole thing, that scene... It really gets to me. And, you know, kudos to Mel for letting it know, letting trifling Tiffany know that a person is innocent before proving guilty. Anyway, guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all again in the next video. Kiki, in Jamaica, we have a thing to say. Don't watch any face. Meaning, don't care what anybody doing. Don't watch no face, Kiki. Because you know what? You're going to be on the winning side. And you know what? They're going to look stupid. And you might have the more $17 million than what them dreaming about. You understand me? Don't worry yourself, Kiki. God's got you. Guys, like, comment. And please subscribe to the channel. Bye.